day in Paris. Right now we are heading off to the Alligre Market to eat some good foods, we're, and we're gonna take a walk from the Bastille Tower, which is where the Bastille used to be, and then we're gonna walk down the street to where the Concorde Center is, and that's where the guillotine used to be, and we're gonna head over to Arc Triumph, hoping it doesn't rain. Let's go. While Paris has many options for public transportation, nothing beats walking through this historic city. If you plan it right, all of the must-see sites are no more than 20 to 25 minutes away from each other. The Alligre Market is really four markets in one. It's home to fresh fruits, vegetables, meats, cheeses, and there is even a flea market attached. It's interesting that even though the market is advertised as opening up at 10 a.m., there are still stalls opening up for business at around 11. How's that for Parisian time? Walk around and you can sample any produce you like. Don't feel pressured to buy, as the vendors are used to having shoppers take full stock of their inventory. After the market, we visit the Plaza de la Bastille. This is where the prison once stood until its destruction during the French Revolution. And this is the Plaza de la Concorde. It is where King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette were guillotined. Oh, creepy. Walking along the Avenue de Champs-Élysées, we stumble upon a crepe stand. Tony orders a ham and cheese while I indulge in, well, you'll see. This is chocolate, Nutella, and banana. Oh. <laughs> the cheese is delicious. How are you gonna eat that last bite? Um. I don't know yet. So you, you get it? You oh, go, okay, on, nope. Look at this stupid American trying to eat their crepe. Viva la They're watching me. <laughs> Sean's Elysee is like Rodeo Drive with lots of high-end stores. And for some reason, this McDonald's has security. We are finishing up our walk going towards the Arc de Triomphe. honors those who died for France by having their names inscribed on the walls. Also underneath is a tomb of the unknown soldier. Your initial thoughts? Uh, it's big. Wow. Like, giant. You don't really get the full scope of things until you get about two feet from like, the side. It's, it's massive. Like, wow. I, I just read that a uh, biplane flew through the middle arch. The biplane was flown through the big arch right after World War I to celebrate the victory of them winning. That's pretty cool. That just shows you how big that hole is right there. It's gigantic. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures.